In this lecture, guys, we will have a certain overview, if you like, how to select shapes and what's inside the shape layer and how to create a perfect circle and a square. That's all. It's very easy. Now, we created a shape layer before. If you select the shape layer, you will notice the binding box of the shape layer. I will put the stroke to zero so you can see it clearly. So you notice this small squares around. This is the binding box of the shape layer. So if you click here, you are selecting the shape layer. Let's delete the shape layer and go further. Let's go for the rectangle tool and draw a shape. So now we see the binding box of the shape layer. If I go directly for the selection tool, notice the binding box has changed. This binding box with the small squares with a white dot inside are the binding box of the shape inside the shape layer. So actually you have a shape layer and you have a shape and you have the possibility to select the whole shape layer or the shape itself. If I select the shape layer, for example, and come to draw another shape, that's the first thing I will do. For example, an ellipse. You notice that tool creates a shape is highlighted, meaning while the shape layer is selected and the star here is highlighted, if you create a shape, it will be a real shape in the same layer. But if you move to the next one, tool creates mask, then you will not be creating a shape and you will be masking the shape layer. This is not the subject for now. Just make sure that you have a tool creates shape always selected for now. While the shape layer is selected, you can click and drag and to create a different shape. Here you are. Now, inside the shape layer, you have ellipse one and rectangle one. If I select the shape layer and give it a stroke, for example, 10. Now I changed the stroke for all the shapes inside the shape layer. Same for the color, if you like. You notice for all of them. But I will undo the stroke. If with the selection tool, I select ellipse one. Here is it selected and change the stroke. You will notice that I'm changing the stroke only for ellipse one. If I select rectangle one, I can change the stroke for rectangle one. Here you are. Okay. So you have the possibility to select a shape inside the shape layer. Are we agreeing on that guys? So it's very important to learn to decide what are you animating. Let me put it up. Now, if you select the shape layer, you have the transform here and you can animate any one of them. You can see the stopwatch. We have seen that already. But if you select an ellipse one or the rectangle one, if you twirl down, you notice you have rectangle one, stroke, fill. These are the usual stroke fill here. And you have transformations or animations for rectangle one. If you twirl down path one, you can adjust the shape. Notice how the shape is selected here. So you can adjust the size if you like, and you adjust the position inside the shape layer. Of course, you can add some roundness if you like to we'll see that also. And you can come to the transform rectangle and even create animations using the transform rectangle, which is a subject we will tackle later on when we're doing compound and complex shapes. So pay attention to what you are selecting. In the ellipse one, you will notice inside the ellipse one, you have size and position. Of course, you don't have roundness and you can adjust the size of the ellipse. So like this, you have selected the shape layer and like this, you have selected the shape. You notice the binding box inside the shape layer. Let's delete this one. I'll show you how to create a perfect circle. If you click and drag, press shift, you have a perfect circle. You notice guys, let's put the stroke to two, it will be nicer. So this is the way to create a perfect circle. Fine, I will undo this one and let's go back to rectangle. If you click and drag, you create a rectangle. If you press shift, then you will create a square, as simple as that. You can come and play with the polygon tool. If you click and drag, you create a polygon. If you come inside the shape layer, you notice there is polystar. And then in the polystar here, if you twirl down, you will notice all the properties for a polystar. You can have it as polygon or star. Simple. You can add points, for example. Here you are. You can animate this also. And if you want a rectangle, you make it three points. You can adjust the position. You can adjust the rotation the way you would like. Let's put it at zero. So you have a 
you know straight rectangle and there is the inner radius and you have the outer radius here you are and you have the inner roundness if you like to play with it it does something very nice and the outer roundness okay so this has been an overview of how to create shape layers and how to create shapes inside shape layers just be attentive and things will be okay